Let's bring in Bell Point, uh, their chief of strategist, David Nelson. David, so you and you know, you said that the, the, the markets really are in this world where they think the Fed, Jay Powell and the Fed can solve everything. But there's certain structural issues that they not only can't solve, but maybe can't even foresee. Uh, we saw some of it last week. You know, it's always the smartest guys in the room that get us in the most trouble. Yeah. And it was almost shades of 2008 last week. What we saw was this massive unwind of leverage. And that still exists out there. And when, when these large macro funds and, and funds out there that are levered up three, four, five to one, when they start to have to take down their book, they got to sell the good with the bad. And we saw a lot of that last week. And I thought that was a shot across the bow. Another interesting thing in your note, you're saying that this swoon, this swoon we saw in the markets and other areas, you know, it's kind of like, it's almost, everyone's kind of forgotten about it, but you're saying, no, that kind of a swoon is, is telling a message. Here we have it right there. Yeah. That's a big, big decline in a very short period of time. It's saying something. It is definitely saying something. Yeah, we, it, it felt good to get through that week and everybody got back to the flat line. That's just about what we did. But we're seeing the consumers obviously challenged. We saw that with Home Depot yesterday. We're seeing it with other, other stocks today. Uh, I think the Fed is probably going to have to live with, with, with rates uh, a little higher than they'd like right. uh, coming out of this downturn and probably with employment a little higher than yeah, they'd I was just like. talking to Seema Shaw. She sort of suggested the same thing. Now, they'll never come out and say they're new. You know, the 2% is going to be their target, but de facto, it's going to have to probably be two and a half, three, right? So where are you on the economy? And, and do you think Wall Street is too sanguine about things? Almost every person that comes through is still like the consumer is strong, the economy is strong, balance the consumer is not strong. strong. Uh, I, there's no way the consumer is strong. Nobody can tell me the consumer is strong. Right. I saw that in Home Depot. I saw it in a lot of other companies. You're seeing it in fast food restaurants. So the consumer is not strong. That, that leg is gone. Right. We can't count on that right. anymore. So I think I look at things like the Mag 7, and they're not all the same. You know, I actually took down uh, Alphabet today. I actually sold part of the position. And it's not because of the DOJ. It's because there are some structural issues there. They're going to have to really deal with the AI. I, I think yeah, they're I was going to say that. Yeah, yeah. I don't think search is going to work out for them the way it has. I'm already using a lot of other platforms, perplexity, open AI. By definition, it has to take down some of their market share. Yeah. No, I, I, it's so funny you said that because I, I've been toying around with different things, too, and getting some pretty good answers and replies. Yeah. Not as good as Google, but it, it's the writings on the wall. So I got less than a minute to go. There is a, a Mag 7 name or, or a big growth name though, that you like, and it's Netflix. It is Netflix. Uh, you know, there's there's a... When in the world of media, there are two kinds of stocks. The ones that want to be the next Netflix or you can buy Netflix. <laughs> All right. We've got a chart here. What's amazing to me is how many times Wall Street and the financial media said Netflix is dead. Disney's going to get into the business. Netflix is dead. They can't grow anymore in America. Netflix is dead. This is a hell of a chart. It is it's going to keep going. And I think even if the consumer turns down, this is probably one of the last services they're going to get rid of. 277 million subs, 8 million more subs in the last quarter. They continue to put out the content. This is where I live. I'll go home tonight, sit on the sofa and scan through that thing for 30 <laughs> minutes and then put on something else. <laughs> but you're right. I won't get rid of it. You're right. Good stuff, David. Appreciate it.